Welcome back to Banishers, everybody. We need to find the survivor. Let's uh, let's just get reacquainted with what we're doing. We're in Mount Pleasant, and uh, after arriving at Fort Jericho, Red was denied entry. The exhausted garrison is battling waves of specters, and will take no newcomers that the say so of a Helen priest who had gone foraging for supplies and had not returned. After destroying the source of the attacking specters, Red and Antea went looking for Mrs. Priest. Which is what we're going to do. And I'll, I'll probably, I'll do that and then we'll take a look at these question marks around the area afterwards. I think that would be a smart thing to do. But also, let's see if we can... I think this area is similar to the map's instructions. There's a treasure somewhere around here. And if we go back and look at that... here it looks like it's under the flag so maybe right up there either that or it's possibly here but I don't see it so let's let's run up there oh I could feel that they never learn do they All right. Reinforcements. Oh, there's more. You shouldn't stay in there. And that's the best way to take those out. Oh. Okay. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta. Well, first of all, let me get these. She's being overrun, hurry, wait, let me get this treasure. <laughs> Classic. If the map is correct, the treasure must be hidden nearby. Classic red behavior. There it is. Looking out for himself first. The sentry and the sentry cache. Wait, was there another cache or is this the one? There's another one. The bottom of the big tower. There was also another map that we got. Which I think Oh. Is this Oh, this is a this is an above view. Okay, I didn't notice that. I thought it was like on the side of the cliff. Uh so there's a bridge. Okay. That's really close to here, I think. I think it's like, is it here? Oh, there's only one building, two bridges, and then a big rock thing. that bridge there uh, I'm not 100% sure anyways we've got someone to rescue let's focus on that or are we being baited into a trap They said something like, come closer if you dare. Was that coming from below? I don't, I don't think so. Come on! I thought I could pick that up. Okay, what's this? Pages. Okay, wait a second. I think there was something else down there that I missed. Or is this blocked off? 
Okay, 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 okay. I went the right way first. Come on. There we go. My boat is shot. Behind you. <laughs> nice one. I didn't know you could knock him out like that. Okay, you might need help with this one. Have another in sight. Okay, that's the wrong one. Watch nope. out. Oh, shit. to position. Piss off. Okay, I gotta hit this with the banish. Nice one. Dodging. Uppercut. Not today. That was close. Oh my god! Oh, I dodged a second attack at least. I forgot! Oh, and the dodge! <laughs> Delayed punch. I was like, wait, what are the controls? <laughs> What's what's happening here? Hello? A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. He lets her see. I Remember we read about that? Me. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Oh, this is like a mirror of what we're going through. I... this is really intriguing. What was it like for you? After my own death, I floated outside of time without knowing what was happening to me. Floating outside of time? Yes, that's exactly it. True love finds a way. That's all that matters. I, I feel you. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly, you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you, we'll resupply the camp. Matthews and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. This is going to be like, start, start the blame process. Yeah, you were pretty reckless. You're well capable of fighting the living, tis clear. It was reckless to think you could take on the dead. We have lost many of our comrades. We measured the risk. It was not reckless. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience, if he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. 
We all lost much. Too much. As second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. Pennington can't have taken his decision lightly. It must have been hard on all involved. Is it harder, to your mind, to send someone to their death than it is to do the dying? We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. Entity hint obtained. The specters in the mines bear a grudge against Captain Pennington. Did we... That wasn't who we talked to before, right? That was Andrew? Yeah. I don't think we met Captain Pennington yet. The leaders. That's kind of cool that we have two of these haunting things. Um... We also, there's also three other hauntings in the dark woods. So at some point we should go back, right? Because we had that cutscene. So we want to talk to Kate and see if we can find these other hauntings. Because that's one of the I'm most intriguing parts of the game. The latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Can't go back the way that we came. Clearly not experienced video game players. I left all, all this loot. Still impressive. Whoa, that's a lot of magnetite. What is what is magnetite used for? Because uh, I was mentioning this before that I was in Subnautica also, but I, I not heard of it before. Lock looks broken. I doubt that gate will ever open again. Yeah, there's no way we could break that. To make you angry. No comment from them? Impressive. You banishers are quite something. I saw her. I'm just the help. Never mind. The banisher marched with my father's infantry. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. But War is good for our business. She, imagine she ran in front of the gun and I shot her in the head. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. Have we gone over how they met? That's a good point. Not sure if we, if if they went over it. I don't. I don't hundred percent remember. Oh man, I love the uh, silhouettes, the light, the shadows. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and this is just... I'm playing on performance mode. This is so much sharper and, like, just overall better looking. I kind of wish I was able to play Rebirth on uh, PC. I could probably play it at a higher resolution. Still have to get 60. We'll come back for you, my friend. My sympathy. So, can you, uh... Is she gonna stay there while I go check stuff out? Yeah, it looks like it. Wrong button. If I can get there. Also, there's another... There's a point of interest there. You should... You should stay with Helen if you want to enter the fort. All right, fine. I'll come back here. Is there even um, a camp found? Oh, we'll be able to. We'll be able to take the elevator up. Right. Forget it.
It's okay, I'll just do everything. Will you stand there? All this for two miserable powder boxes. How low has Pennington brought us? If you didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. Perhaps that they blame ritual. Look at that, like, just look at the background. We may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. Ah, uh, okay. These Clear the area of the specters. For this stuff. Well, that's a relief. We saw the um, inventory before. Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> I almost freaking shot her again. Reds in front while I'm aiming. Blow her head off. There are some little hitches on the transitions, but it's not really that bad. Like, once you get into the area, it's, it's, it's super smooth. This, uh... Snow effects are neat, too. White, open the gates. Priest, what are you lot waiting for? Open the gates. To have a chat with this captain, eh? Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand, if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. You'll find him there. Finally in Fort Jericho. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap? Matthews. We were ambushed. They fell. May God have mercy on their souls. There's ammo in the elevator. Send Shepard and Abbott to bring it back. Maybe you should have let me in before. Good to see you living, sir. Keep it short. I'm on duty. How are folk doing? Fighting fit? They're farmers, most of them. Shopkeepers, house servants, hunters. We've one old soldier, but he's sick. Them who stand, stand dead on their feet. Fighting fit, my arse. But we hold against the hordes of the dead. And now, leastways, the fight's not fair, is it? Well... Uh... Maybe they deserve it. Maybe we do too. Maybe we do. Wish I knew what we'd done to bring this shite down upon us. Mind you, we'd probably just go and do it again. <laughs> That's humans, all right. I feel like we're uh, matching the energy of this area. All right. As you were, soldier. We already asked him about that. You can't kill it, but you can slow it down. What's that? Good day to you, miss. Miss? I'm the hunter Flora Abbott, and I never miss. You? Fair. It is rare, but I... I've been known to miss. Red McCraith, Banisher. I heard about you when you first arrived. Is your friend not with you? She died. She's with me in spirit. Sad to hear it. I have nothing cleverer than that to say. If you need anything, well, I probably can't help. Thanks. So you hunt for the fort? Are you part of the train band? I serve, in my way. Before the curse, I traded with the people of New Eden. Meat and fur bartered for whatever they had that I needed. How did you end up in New Eden? You won't mind me saying that you're not like most people here. And yet, I am a New Englander. Born on a farm not far from Boston, but always preferred the wild. So I came to New Eden. In time, I came to love it. It's cursed, and I'm still here, aren't I? 
What do you know? Tell me about your day-to-day. -day. If I did, would you listen? Why, why do you think I asked? For my health? Talk to me of Captain Pennington. I've worked for worse. I'm able and I give him no trouble. In return, he makes sure I get none. He respects me. That makes him an excellent judge of character. Don't you think? Yeah, we'll find out. What can you tell me about Helen Priest? Not my favorite person, if I'm honest, but in the fight against the dead, she's an asset. How are you yourself? I do my work and do it well. The few notice. I thought she would trade with us, but I guess not. I'll take my leave of you, Flora. I'll not stop you. I really like the characters in this game, man. It's just, it's really good. Okay, um, so we got the Fer uh, Fernando Miller case brings us here too. Let's check out this uh, point of interest. I think that's over, pardon me. It's up here. Huh? Then we have to drop down, I guess. Locked. That's locked. There must be a key. It's a chest. There's a key. So there's two chests. There's just one key. Oh, legacy cash. Eliza, my grandfather has at last passed away. And I made sure he left me a small legacy. It isn't much, but it shall tie us over to the next year. Soon we shall be wed. You are in need, find him. Fortune favors those who wake at daybreak. Wherever yours, A. A chunk of black ore with a metallic luster. Okay, so it doesn't, doesn't actually say what it's used for. It's not like used to craft tools or weapons though, right? We try to say like it's to the east or something. War, war never changes. Is there any good reason to start a war? Yes, say the kings. No, say the widows. It's not covered with blood. Who cares, said military teachers, for we are soldiers paid to fight, kill, and die. Was there a way to avoid war with the Indians? Maybe. But there has been too much betrayal and too much blood spilled to ever settle peace again. We failed as a God-loving and rising nation, and I could be disposed for just writing this by people who never saw the dead bodies of the women and children, colonists and native alike, and the burnt ruins of their farms and villages at rainy dawns. I was among the soldiers who were sent to Bloody Brook after the massacre to count the bodies. I was among those who fought at the Great Swamp Fight of 1675. Is that where we were before? I think so. I take no pride in this slaughter. My dreams are haunting me. I really hope this new command I took in this new Eden town will keep me away from any new war I would be asked to win. Is that uh, the captain's uh, journal? Sadly, I believe he was disappointed. But that adds a lot to his character. King James Bible again. They should have like passages or something. Like like passages that match what's going on. Note about the armory. Take note, the building is ramshackle. Access upstairs is restricted. Danger, falling objects. Is that another hint? Maybe. White's letter for Matthew's family. June, July, 1695. Mr. Matthews, sir, I write in the hope that someday soon you shall receive this letter, which I inform you of the sad death of your son, Elliot, killed in recent days upon the slopes of Mount Jericho. Uh. On a sortie into the wilds in search of ammunitions, young Matthews 
and his comrades were by, beset by enemies. Pains me to tell you that they fell. Your son spoke, uh, spoke often of his family, by which I mean you, his father, and most particularly his dear sister, with whom he was close. Be both assured that Elia died a hero. Yours in our shared sorrow, Andrew White. There's the guy who greeted us, I remember, because my name's Andrew also, so that's easy to remember. Even if I'm bad at other names. Uh, bad at remembering other names. I usually remember my own. Usually. Anything weird? Jail. Okay, in my experience, usually if there's a jail in a game, you end up in it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, one of the doors is close. Store Otherwise, locked. Oh, that's a storeroom. Okay. Can I, like, shoot these? No. Thinking maybe I could get in. Looks like there might be a way in from behind. Oh, I should check this too. Also, why not try? Yep, there's a spot to shoot from there. Okay. And I can't jump back up, can I? Interesting. Let me check. Maybe we can enter the storm from down there. Note regarding archives. Whichever records, reports, and other documents were transported from New Eden are now locked upstairs in the armory. For access, see Captain Pennington. Well, I don't, don't want to see Captain Pennington. Do it on my own. Let me just check one more thing. Anything to shoot? Oh, I don't see anything. All right. Let's go check out the store then. Place. Try next door. Anyone home? No one. Papers in Miller's name. We're in the right place. Keep looking. Deed of ownership herewith remarked and confirmed that ownership of the store heretofore, known as the property of Mistress Rebecca Hardgrave, now passes entirely and without encumbrance to Fernando Miller. Could have killed, killed her to get the store. Confirmed by the relevant legal authority, meaning me, to be registered as is required when circumstances permit. S. Pennington. What was this? A sansa. It's a musical instrument. It's Bantu, from Southern Africa. Fonte reads English extensively. Well, nobody's perfect. He's organized. Disorganized traders lose money. We got one more thing here. Is there going to be a memory attached to this? Piece of wood carved in the form of an amulet, but not yet finished. 
Hmm. He's making protective amulets. He's making useless trinkets. Oh. And he works hard to keep it away. Maybe she tried to harm him. Let's search the store. Spectral traces around his bed. Rebecca, I presume. This may explain the wreath. Okay. Did the store maybe this way? Yeah. I guess I had to jump from the other side. Stock to trade. He hasn't unpacked it. Maybe he intends to move on. And who could blame him? That's kind of cool. When you, as you switch the. Uh, let's keep moving. So I need to go around the other side of it. There's that amulet, or whatever wreath. Surprisingly high quality wares. Can't be many left in New Eden with the means to buy. A, another ledger. A register. June 18th, Ingersoll's shop, luggage and jewelry box, five and 50. June 19th, blacksmith, luggage and furniture, seven and nine. June 23rdth. Ingersoll's shop, Rebecca's paintings and portrait, three and ten. June twenty fourth, blacksmith, Rebecca's calligraphy kit, one and four. He's doing surprisingly well for himself. Where did he get the inventory? Stole it, maybe. I don't know why I would think that, but it's just first instinct. Rebecca Hargrave's will. I, Mistress Rebecca Hargrave, in the town of New Eden, being of sound mind and firm intention, bequeath to Ferdinando Miller the eventuality of my death, my entire estate. Well, okay, there you go. But not limited to the following items. Jewelry box, paintings, mirrors, collection of books, all baggage and their contents. Calligraphy sets, uh, sundry furniture, any and all cash money is held in my possession or in my business or with any bank. Rebecca's will. She was rich. She left him the lot. That's where he got the inventory. No. The list matches his sales record. Which, uh... Touch my fits knee with and I'll drop you. What are you doing here? Thieving, no doubt. I'm no thief, Mr. Miller. I'm the Banisher. I brought Helen Priest back to the fort. A Banisher? Thieves lie. How do you know my name? It is my business to know. Red McCraith. If you are a banisher of ghosts, I have business for you. I'll pay. I spoke to Rebecca. Tis she who haunts you. She sent me to find you. She worries for you. Says she loves you. The English have a word for that. Hogshite. If not for love, why did she bequeath you her fortune? Whichever. It matters not. You're a banisher. It is your job to get rid of her. Oh. Can you not just do your work? Easy, Mr. Miller. Now, I'll need to examine Rebecca's belongings. I sold them. All of them. You did? To who? I don't know. People. I wrote it down. In the register. Read it, if you wish. Two recent sales to the blacksmith and to Ingersoll's store. This sounds like uh, it's a clear blame situation. Even without Red having to justify it, right? Oh, what other wares do you have? Stuff looks good. Let's trade. Now, my friend, we are conversing. Uh, fur, leather, 
linen, wool. I wonder if I have a bunch of stuff that I can sell, like stuff previous resources become useless. I have 19, 1,954. I probably should like buy some stuff. Look at how much I own though. Okay, I don't have linen. Guess I'll buy some linen. I don't know, 10? Oh, it's not very expensive. I'll just buy it all. Okay. You've put quite the effort into protecting your home, haven't you? You poked about my house without my say so. I know my business. So out of generosity, here's the truth. None of it works. Not the wreath, not the amulet. None of it works. Pretty though. His brooch is working. It works. She hasn't come back. I can sleep now. Ah, the visits in your sleep. Yes, the visits in my sleep. I hear her calling, whispering my name. I wait to find her at my bedside. Our eyes meet. She stares. She won't leave me alone. She's an Akishi, a demon. Banish her. I'll pay you. I need a job. I accept. Okay. A storekeeper hears much. What do you hear, Mr. Miller? I'm a busy man. If you've a question to ask, then ask it. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He has no problem with me. I have no problem with him. He respected Rebecca's wishes. He gave me what was mine. My freedom. Her estate. He saw me as a man and signed the papers to say so. And when them who saw different complained, he laid down the law. What think you of Helen Priest? I don't think of Helen Priest. I stay out of her way. I hope she'll stay out of mine. How are things in the fort, by your estimation? Look around you. Things are desperate. Have you heard the sound of their bodies crashing against the wood? I am a man of courage. I have endured much. But this, it undoes me. I don't know what you people have done to this country, but there's little hope and no way out. I mean, you just, you just got here. Farewell to you, Mr. Miller, sir. You know where to find me. If you're buying, I'm selling. So one thing I noticed about this is it's highlighted in yellow. So I wonder why. Because it was changed, maybe? Read this. Bathsheba Ingersoll, Mr. Miller. I assure you that this brooch will ease your nightly worry, sold to me by Governor Haskell himself. It was, and he assured me that it soothes the mind and soul, and he is a man who knows these things. I shall keep it for you, but do not take long in making up your mind. I shall sell it elsewhere, and there shall surely be many takers. Bathsheba Ingersoll. Really dig that name. It's neat. Okay. Ingersoll store and the blacksmith. Noted. I. He'd sold it all, everything she'd owned, and fast. Is he wiping the slate clean and moving on? If we track her things down, perhaps they'll tell us. What's going on here? Another another door in? It's weird. Looks like it's something we can interact with. Let me look at the map here. Oh, that's outside. We got uh, both of those. Also, we have a place to rest. 
Oh. Gallows? That's what they call a place where you hang people, right? Um, uh, you know what they say, if they uh, if there's gallows in a game, someone's probably getting hung. Am I just going around in a circle here? Or? Ah, Ingersoll's shop. Hey, I got some uh, some magnetite and sulfur uh, polypore that you may like to uh, purchase from me. Greetings. Welcome to Ingersoll's General Oh, there's store. Bathsheba. I'm Bathsheba Ingersoll, the owner. What can I get you? A comb, perhaps? A comb. Very funny. Red McCraith, I'm pleased to meet you. I met your friend, Miss Duarte, briefly in New Eden Town. I'm so sorry for your loss. She seemed a vibrant and resolute young woman. And she seemed eager to leave town as quickly as possible. Hmm. Shall we trade? I rather think we should, sir. What interests you? I don't really remember talking to her. Got some magnetite for you. 16. Uh, let's just see. Do we, is there anything that we lack? Crisp moss. Waxy cap agaric. I mean, why not? Why not spend this? Oh, there's just stuff though. Zen mind. Hitting an enemy with the rifle stock. Attack. Reloads the rifle. Rifle weak spots damage increased by uh, 20%. Oh, decoction. Okay. And Red Goddess, manifestation damage is increased by 100%, but cooldowns are increased by 100%. Oh, it gives you health recovery also. Okay, I didn't I didn't notice that. Let's grab it. And I'll have to, I guess I'll have to save up for that. Should have looked at that stuff first, but I don't think I had enough to buy both. Tell me about your store. Tell me about you. The original Ingersoll's in Boston was grand and fine, but it burned in the North Square fire of 91. We moved to New Eden with Nathaniel, but before Natty could return home, my husband died. Then came the curse, and now here we are. Welcome to Ingersoll's of Fort Jericho. You never wanted to do anything else. My husband was prosperous and affluent. I was young and clever, we made an excellent match. He taught me everything I know. The store is my business. My legacy. My story. It is who I am. I don't like running a store. I love it. Yeah, you seem like you do. The shopkeeper must hear everything that goes on. Tell me something interesting. Just between us. You assume me to be a gossip monger. What do you wish to know? <laughs> you assume correctly. <laughs> what can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He lets me trade. I like the man. He says Ingersoll's store is good for the fort. I very much agree. What can you tell me about Helen Priest? I like her. Though she's impetuous. Terse, even. She fancies herself a leader when she should know her place. And that place is below the captain. Thinking about it, no, I don't think I do like her. But more generally, how fares Fort Jericho? Well, it's cold. Folk are hungry more often than not. I've little to tell you you won't hear from someone else. But Ingersoll's is open, so all is well with me. Can I make a suggestion about the cold? Maybe like, I put it like close in your store and put a door on it? Cause I think it just like walked in, right? It's open to the air. Ferdinando Miller sold you a few things recently, right? May I have a look? You may, yes. Though I doubt they'd be much use to you. Unless you've got a knack for art. Mr. Miller mostly sold me paintings. You can't miss them, they're the only ones I have. I must take my leave. And may God go with you. 
Yeah, like you might want to. I guess they are kind of starting to fill it in, but that would make things a bit warmer. Pretty. The work, I mean. Not our ghost eye, though. Let's try the forge. Okay. These locked. Yeah. Down here to you. Eh? It's a delicious looking chest, though. What are you looking at? Good day, sir. Nathaniel Sather, at your service. What can I do for you? That Mr. Sather remains to be seen. Red McCraith, by the way, the Banisher. You seem a chatty fella. We see precious few new faces around here. <laughs> You'll forgive me if I use you for fresh conversation. Tell me about yourself. Share your business. Tell me what's important to you. I'm from Boston. I love it very much. So much more lively. A fine mix of conviviality and anonymity. I miss that life. The music. The colour and the splendour. The dance of commerce. The flower sellers forget-me-nots. Oh, the forget-me-nots. I very much wish to go home. What are you doing here, then? I'm the shop boy. When the store moves, I move with it. Old man Ingersoll opened up a general store in Boston back in 78. Then he married Bathsheba. I came with them to New Eden, intending to quickly return. But Mr. Ingersoll died. I extended my stay. It took me on when I was just a boy. I have no family. All I have is my Thomas, my closest friend. You have, as my granny would say, the power to talk the back legs off a two-footed donkey. But I bet you listen, too. What do you hear here about? Oh, little of interest. Pennington has signed John Rumble to the train band, which means nothing at all to me. I believe John was down the flooded mine. That can't have been fun. Maybe the militia will be good for him. Huh? You never know who'll take to soldiering. You say that, and I defer to your experience, but I'm sure it's not for me. Me neither. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? The captain? I've not a single bad word to say about that dismally antiquated, superannuated old man. His depth of experience is inspiring. Although I shudder to think what those experiences have done to him. But we should respect our elders. We should listen to their point of view. And then ignore it as we look to the future. <laughs> what do you think of Helen Priest, then? I'd put her in charge if I could. She's bright, trustworthy, thinks for herself. She's not married to all doctrine. People here are desperate. They're sick, they need courage. And Helen Priest fears nothing. More generally, how fares Fort Jericho? It's cold. Our clothes are inelegant, the walls are drab. There's no music, no conviviality. There's no gaiety. Boston isn't much of a city, but I miss it. I wonder what I could make of this place were I allowed. You can paint a turnip red, but it still won't be an apple. <laughs> True. But stack enough red-painted turnips about the place, and even the dowry Scotsman shall surely crack a smile. I must go. Thank you for your time. Still really enjoying the dialogue. And I for yours. Take care. There's some... It's a little bit uneven, but overall, it's quite good. Okay, where is Blacksmith? Right here. Uh, don't want to talk to me, eh? Okay. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. What is that? Uh... No? I guess I'll just break into your house then. How about that? A 
note? Let's see. Theodore's note, Joseph. I received the things you owed me. They're good. I thought you a liar. It seems you are not. Rebecca's slave, Fernando, is not satisfied with his dead mistress's fortune. By Pennington's order, he's a free man now and a merchant to boot. The shite shall be the end of us, mark me. Anyways, we are quits, you and I. Until next, we shuffle cards in the barrack. The men, I'll fleece you then once more. Theodore S. Hmm. Interesting. Ferdinando was a slave. She was his owner. She kept that quiet, as if it were of no consequence. We know where to go, the barrack room. Plot thickens. Is that where we were? No, I not been here yet. She was all glowy in her in her chest area, though. What's that all about? Maybe she's wearing one of those brooches also. Ah, the military arsenal key. This is why you go to the camp first, which I think is up here. I can't get in. Just let me just back out. Do I have to, like, shoot the door open? Hmm. Okay. What's this? A ghost left a fragment of their past here. The quill resonates. An echo, perhaps. Kind of want to read this first. Official document with the death of Private Forbury. According to Forbury's wishes and to award his military exploits during the Battle of Bloody Brook, Teddy the Shadow is appointed to be the owner of Forbury's late properties, including his rifle. May the Shadow carry this fine gun with honor. Oh, yeah. I wanted to check... Um, this decoction. So it's got three charges. Health recovery. This is 110. So I should have been changing these. Store spirit points. So I was nerfing myself. What does this do? Damage taken by red is reduced by 5%. I may have been nerfing myself. We got so many things to upgrade. recognize my name in the list distant family but I can't disinherit them ah uh, got rid of the other names I would never ask you that to have met you is already more than I ever expected if I was to lose you God forbid I cherish all that reminds me of you <sighs> If you were to lose me, all that I own would now be yours. He convinced her to change the will. Okay. He claimed not to love her. Why lie? Maybe he didn't lie. Maybe he pretended to love her. Get her. Let's see what he has to say about it. It could have been to get his freedom and to get her stuff. 
Knowing she loved him, Fernando Miller pretended to love Rebecca Hargrave too. Inherited the stuff. Turned himself a ghost. Pretended to love Rebecca Hargrave so he would inherit her wealth. Strong-willed and sharp, well-dressed and eloquent. He has the confidence of a man who has money and the suspicion of someone who once did not. Still something to find out about Rebecca. Things. Very interesting. Private Talbot Williams, letter number two. My sweet Ethel, some of my comrades are sick. I can do nothing for them, squeamish as I am. Matthew spent the night at the nurse's side, carrying spew in buckets. A good man, though he speaks little. I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm tired, and there's fighting it to do. Your Talbot. Private Matthew's poetry, sickness of a soldier. Shadows start to sing, the sky is falling. The days turn into nights. The specters are at my door, I hear them clawing at the gates. I can run, but I know I'll never escape. The shadows are my friends, I hear them calling out my name. Scratched. Okay. I'm a living shell with no soul, just a, go just a ghost haunting his own house. I walk towards death, breathing my last breath. Mother used to say, death is only a horizon. I used to be afraid, but now I'm ready for my sun to set. Didn't rhyme very well. I was just reading it wrong. Letter from Cotton Peabody's sister. Cotton Peabody here? My dearest Cotton, I know it's been, <laughs> that name is ridiculous. I know it's been a long time and I know you asked me not to write to you anymore, but you broke my heart the day you asked me to stop contacting you. I shall try one last time. I'm sorry to learn about your health and I hope you'll recover soon. Errol and I have a little girl. I know you never accepted my love for him, but we are happily married. We named our child Mary, like our beloved grandmother. We live in a beautiful little house. We have a cow and seven chickens. And Errol has found work as blacksmith. It's not an easy life, but we have food on our table and fire in our hearth. I feel happy and loved, and I would like you to feel the same. I will try to send you some money until we hear uh, from you, your worried sister, Waverly. There's a lot to read here. And a lot to take. Now, what about this? See a chest. I would want to acquire that chest. Can't. Guess that's just to see it. I have to go behind? No? Hmm. Maybe if we get up there, we can go down behind on the other side. Okay, let's confront Fernando. And actually, before I forget, I'm going to get the chest because I will forget. Got the key. Spiritual ward. Oh. Damage taken is reduced by 20%, but spirit point gains are reduced by 40%. But it heals more. Well, okay. The other one could be upgraded too, so maybe it's going to be better. Lots of uh, things I haven't been able to grab, but I could see it's getting tricky oh 
Okay, buddy. Punisher? Let's hit him with it. Rebecca was in love with you. The feeling was not mutual. True? I was her pet. A dog nuzzling its master, hoping she might loosen its leash. She loved me, she said. I allowed her to think I loved her back. I sat up and begged and let her pet me. I was a very good boy. You gulled her then took advantage. These decisions are so a hard. Slave, a crumb of freedom tastes like a loaf. You'd have done no different. And I do the same again. It's like like fair, I would I would probably do the same. Like And you faked your feelings for Mr. Sargrave. You gained much more than freedom. Rebecca made you rich. Okay, but I wouldn't kill her. As she lay dying, Rebecca Hardgrave gave me my freedom. Before that, I was her slave. How very romantic. If it weren't for the captain, the good people of New Eden would have let me die too. Enough chitter-chatter. Perhaps you should get back to work. What am I paying you for? Uh, you're paying for this? <laughs> oh, God. You're paying for this. This is the work. But I get the feeling it's the result that interests you, not the method. You want me to finish the job? Then the story must be told. The ghost must manifest. I do not like this idea. This idea can shit itself six times by sundown. Come on, break the brooch and let's get it over with. I wouldn't do that if I were you. No choice remains. Let it be done. And I'll be done with it! Buddy, you're here at last! Step no closer! I... I don't understand. Are you not glad to see me? Now, Punisher! End this! Not now. You need to hear the truth, both of you. That reminds me. Rebecca, you omitted to tell us that Ferdinando was your slave. That you owned him. I loved him. I was a slave. I was not free to leave you. What kind of love is that? What are you saying? We loved each other. Love? <laughs> no. I told my master what she wanted to hear. I gulled her with a lie. I thought you a fool. But no, you believed me because you wanted to. Yet you didn't believe me, did you? Not entirely. That's why you never freed me. I loved you, mm. and you loved me. It was but a piece of paper. A piece of paper and a guarantee. I needed a guarantee. You don't know what love is. You know only fear. You fear had been undesired. Being unnoticed. Being alone. How very human of you, Mistress Hargrave. But hardly an excuse to own a man. The time to give this love story an ending. Okay, the one thing I'm a little bit confused about, though, is... Like, did she just let her die, or did she still die of natural causes? Um... Their attention drawn by your plaintive plea, the banishers met the ghost of Rebecca Hargrave, who was desperate to get her love for Nando, get to her lover Fernando Miller. She asked the banishers to seek him out at the storm or, or Jellic, Jericho, sorry. Yeah, it's not. In her slave, eager to claim his freedom and a prosperous future with it. He pretended to love her too. I, I, I'm a little bit confused about how she died. It says on her deathbed. So I don't think, I don't think like he killed her. Now, there is a thing with banishing the ghost. 
that I do, I should do. Is this the one though? Is this the one that I'm gonna banish? Should she, should she essentially go to hell for sla owning a slave? Send, it's either banish or blame, but like, and okay, the thing is I, I made a promise to Antea, so there's, there's that whole thing where I need to blame a certain number of them. I've, I've blamed all but one so far, so maybe we can get away with two. I think I'm gonna go banish with her. Rebecca Hardgrave, you are blinded by your emotions. You cannot see the harm you do. How can love be harmful? You imposed your love on someone who could not refuse it. It was just another chain with which to bind him. I only wanted him to be happy. No, you didn't. You wanted him to be yours. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. There's some kind of a... I have a feeling that we're going to hear her in the void. Like Antea did with, with some other ghosts, or we heard ghosts. My own master at last. I also get a bunch of money. I misjudged you. Thank you. Take this for your trouble. Tent obtained. Are you losing Fernando, the man she loved? Rebecca Hargrave kept him enslaved. Mm. It would have been interesting to see what would have happened if he'd let she had let him free. I, I I'm still can I'm maybe they just they never really explain how she died. I thought that she was like left by. Maybe I'm confusing it with another haunting. She was like left by. On the trail. Yeah, that's not this one. It was confusing that with another one. Can I help you? <laughs> Being a merchant here seems difficult. Yeah. You forgive me for this, but. Being a merchant here in New Eden seems a difficult calling. Why? My father was a trader. At his elbow, I learned to count. And I learned to converse. There is no trade without conversation. And all conversation is a trade. And here's the thing. Mm. In conversation, my father said the wrong thing. He angered a sober. Suddenly, my father was dead, and I was the merchant. What's a sober? Who better to be a trader abroad than a man who has been traded abroad? I'm looking up what that is. Soba. Japanese noodles made from buckwheat flour? I don't think that's... Uh... Uh... That's all I got. Okay. Maybe, maybe that's what they Farewell were. Farewell to you, Mr. Miller, sir. I'll always be glad to see you, my friend. Come to me if you need anything. Well, let me know what you guys thought about that. That, that seemed like a decent choice for, uh, for banishment. We are going to wrap up this episode here, though, and we'll talk to Captain Pennington on the next one. I'll see you then, How and I love you all. Must we have this fight? How often must we argue? We shall argue until you hear me. I hear you all too well. I hear a hoggish harridan, a narrow nag, a selfish shrew. One of these days, I shall poison your soup. And the day before, I'll take you to the highest cliff and push you off it. Well then, I think we'll have another case coming up as well. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>